you've just did it there now, Sean. I need to get my act together. I've only got two. Well, you've got two more than someone who's got none, right? Stop being so hard on yourself. Number two, you don't don't be big expectations. If you have to go walk and go walk, and if you can only jog 100 meters every mile, you're still doing better than someone else. Get moving, get started. Last one, look around you, look at, follow, and surround yourself with normal people. Stop looking at all this fake shite everywhere of people spouting and shouting down videos. Big, big thing all the time. Follow people who walk the walk, talk the talk, walk the walk. They're not just talking shite. So surround yourself with that. You should be all right. And they are all any given run day podcast verified as being class. And that is... <laughs> <laughs> if you need to meet normal good people they're usually on this podcast um, just like <laughs> <laughs> and on, on that note Mick thank you very much for being on this week's episode of the Ending Your Run Day podcast you feel thanks like we're so going to say something else oh, thank you I thought you were going to say something in there no just uh, thanks thanks for having me lads honest to God I listen to your podcast a lot and some of the guests you've had on I'm honestly honoured to be on so thanks so much thank you Mick and I'm sure we'll get you on next year when you're taking on a few of those marathons and we'll see if Berlin can become one of your favourites now next year when you're more familiar. No chance. We'll talk before and after Dublin. Never mind the fancy. <laughs> <laughs>